If you open any history book on mathematics, it will tell you that the ancient Greeks discovered trigonometry. Our research into this Babylonian tablet is going to change all of that. Plimpton 322 is a 3,700 year old fragment of clay from the old Babylonian period, and it's a scientific marvel of the ancient world. We've known for decades that its unusual sequence of numbers proves that the Babylonians knew the Pythagorean theorem a thousand years before Pythagoras was born. But while there is agreement on what the tablet contains, there's been no agreement on what it was used for. Our research shows that it's a trigonometric table, so unfamiliar and advanced that in some respects it's superior even to modern trigonometry. We've discovered that these lines represent the ratios for a series of right angle triangles, ranging from almost a square to almost a flat line. This makes Plimpton 322 a powerful tool that could have been used for surveying fields or architectural calculations to build palaces, temples, or step pyramids. The Babylonians' unique approach to arithmetic and geometry means that this is not only the world's oldest trigonometric table, it is also the only completely accurate trigonometric table on record. Why? It all comes down to fractions. We count in base 10, which only has two exact fractions, one half, which is 0.5, and one fifth, which is 0.2. That's problematic if you want to divide. For example, one dollar divided by three is 33 cents, with one cent left over. The Babylonians counted in base 60, the same system that we use for telling time. This has many more exact fractions. It doesn't sound like much, but this allowed them to do a lot more exact division. One hour divided by three is 20 minutes, exactly. By using this system, the Babylonians were able to make calculations that completely avoided any inexact numbers, thereby avoiding any errors associated with multiplying those numbers. With this greater accuracy, we think this system has enormous potential for applications in surveying, computers and education. It's rare that the ancient world teaches us something new. After 3000 years, Babylonian mathematics might just be coming back into fashion.